Imagine life without art. A world without creative expression. The things that color our reality and give it meaning. Gone. Working to keep culture and creativity alive, UNESCO's 2022 Global Report, Reshaping Policies for Creativity, monitors the world's progress in implementing the four goals of the 2005 Convention, an international framework that protects and promotes diversity while also addressing the challenges developing countries face. Governance for Culture highlights the importance of policies and measures to protect and support cultural and creative sectors, just as other sectors are protected and supported. Culture and creativity make up 3.1% of our global GDP and 6.2% of all jobs, not to mention the enormous value they create in building culturally rich and cohesive communities. And yet, Public funding for these sectors has declined over the past decade. It's still not easy for people to make a stable career in culture or creativity. And the sectors were especially hard hit during the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite this, demand for creativity is growing, with online consumption soaring. But current business models don't pay creators enough, nor do they promote diverse content or adequately protect the use of online copyrights. Uneven access to the connected world is also deepening inequalities in cultural and creative sectors. By improving collaboration between governments, civil society organizations and creative businesses, we can address the disconnect between the artistic works we love, the opportunities we get to see them and the well-being of those who create them. Our rich cultural diversity should be preserved and celebrated across our world as the common heritage of our humanity and any imbalances addressed. That's why we need to ensure a fairer flow of cultural goods and services across the world and increase mobility for artists. More artists, works and ideas need to travel to other countries, reaching the largest audiences possible. When public funding is limited, NGOs and other associations can help, but opportunities remain uneven. Funding and visa barriers make it harder for artists from developing countries to travel. And currently, most artist residencies are in Europe and North America. Access to global markets is just as uneven. While the export of cultural goods and services doubled in value between 2016 and 2019, 95% of total creative exports in cultural services still come from developed countries and they receive 70% of all foreign direct investment. To address these inequalities, developed countries need to broaden trade opportunities for developing countries, offering advantages to them without requiring reciprocity. As no country can address rising global inequalities on its own, International cooperation is needed and is key to including culture in sustainable development. But international cooperation funding is going down. While the enormous value of culture in sustainable developing planning is increasingly being recognized. However, the value of cultural and creative industries specifically is still largely ignored and their potential remains untapped. A single artist's work can impact the lives of millions, changing minds and behaviours. Yet, the contribution artists are making in critical areas such as climate action and environmental sustainability is largely overlooked. We need to make it grow. We must also protect freedom of expression and creativity for artists and the rights of artists. While more countries are taking steps to improve economic conditions of artists, they are still far from enjoying the same rights as other workers. Violations of artistic freedom are also rising, and almost half of all countries lack independent bodies to monitor these harms. And though culture and entertainment is among the sectors with the highest employment of women, gender equality remains out of reach. In many countries, women are still being left out of leadership roles and there is little support for change. So, how do we move forward from here? 
supporting the cultural and creative sectors is important for all of us. Creativity inspires and helps us navigate life in all its complexity, at all ages. Creative minds are also key to solving the challenges of our world. We need to create better conditions for artists and cultural professionals and ensure adequate policies are in place so that culture can realize its full potential as a global public good benefiting all. And we need to act now as the world recovers from the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's start shaping tomorrow's priorities with a diversity of creative voices for a more sustainable future, leaving no one behind. <laughs>